Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Thursday. I am not in today as my son is sick, um, and I'm staying home with him. So I'm going to be giving you the expectations and instructions from this video. Yesterday, or rather earlier this week, you should have finished up your wire figure sculpture and completed sculpt, uh, the sculpture, the photograph for the artwork, the reflection questions, and turn in the final document in Google Classroom. If you've not done that yet, please make sure that gets done as soon as possible. Today, we're going to be working on the landscape relief sculpture. We're going to be opening the 4A relief sculpture practice document in Google Classroom. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the project and the terms right now. And then you're going to be working on completing questions one and three. Yesterday, uh, we focused on question two. Um, I don't think anybody circled back to question one. So we're going to be doing questions one and three for today. So again, our product is a relief sculpture. Uh, we talked about the project, which is to create a sculpture that includes a horizon line, overlap, size change, and details in the foreground, middle background, and background. And we talked about a relief sculpture as a sculpture that you essentially cannot walk all the way around that emerges from a wall or a flat surface. Here are some different examples of relief sculptures. These are some non-examples of relief sculptures. All these are sculptures in the round or three-dimensional also define landscape. Landscape is an artwork that focuses on the visible characteristics of an outside area and it can be natural or man-made. We also define space as the uh, perspective, which is distance between and around, and proportion, which is size between shapes and objects um, in an artwork. We also define overlap as well as size change and height, which were critical for your art making activity because what you did um, last time was use different uh, collage elements to create several different objects that show examples of overlap as well as size change using a horizon line. So my example looks like this. I've got overlap here where this is in front of this. I have size change where these trees get smaller as they go back in the distance. And I filled the rest of my page with other examples um, of or other additional details. Um, now we're going to be talking. Oh, and then finally, you should have uh, taken a photograph of that um, activity and inserted it into question number two here. So if you've not done that, make sure you do that first today. Okay, now we're going to get into question three and the content that is critical for that. Uh, foreground, middle ground, and background. The background are objects that are highest on the page and behind everything, um, and it's furthest from the observer. An example of something in the background would be these clouds, maybe the sky. The middle ground are objects in the middle of the page, behind objects in the foreground, but in front of objects in the background. So that might be an example of kind of like the ocean or the waves here. And the foreground are objects low on the page and in front of everything closest to the observer. That might be considered the beach. So if we break this landscape down in different parts, things that are lowest in the page, foreground, things that are in the middle of the page, middle ground, things that are um, in the background are highest on the page. And the line that separates the ground from the sky is the horizon line. Now what we're going to be doing is some different, uh, looking at some different examples of atmospheric perspective um and completing a color construction paper collage so you are going to be creating um the illusion of things closer to us which are low on the page and things which are higher or further away from us which are higher on the page um, you are going to be creating um this collage activity by watching this video um, and then once you've completed the activity using color construction paper scissors and glue you're going to take a photo of it and insert it into this document here. And then if you still have time, you're going to circle back and you're going to answer questions, uh, question one, uh, the four different responses in here. And all these answers can be found in the presentation. So you can click on this or just circle back to here. And the answers to these questions are all in here. So you can look back at those. All right. So to review. You're watching this video, 
completing the steps and taking a photo of your artwork in uh, question three, and then you.